Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my channel. My name is Bing, I'm a photo and video maker. And also welcome to my new studio. So far I'm loving it. What do you think about it? And yeah, it's been a while. How's everything going? In today's video, let's talk about buying your first photo printer or inkjet if you prefer. So everyone says you should print your photos. It will be a totally different experience comparing watch your photos on the PC screen. They're right. It feels great. But be careful, the printer, the papers, the inks, they're all expensive. So unless you want to make a living by selling your prints or for some reason you need to print a lot, otherwise you should just close this video and enjoy the rest of your day. I'm a Canon fanboy, so when I considering buying my first photo printer, I was thinking about the Pro 100, the Pixma Pro 100. But I couldn't find one, even the second-hand ones. Then I heard the Pro 200 got released. It's a second generation of Pro 100. But you know what? Canon is playing his marketing strategy. They don't drop the price of Pro 100, and there's even not enough Pro 200 on the market. All the platform shows out of stock. I can't wait too long, so I have to buy this much more expensive Image ProGraph Pro 300, as Canon wants me to do. I'm not gonna make a review about it because I don't believe there's a big difference between those models which I'm gonna mention later. You see, the Pro 200 belongs to the Pixma series and the Pro 300 belongs to the Image ProGraph series. And the Pro 200 is the follow-on model of Pro 100 and the Pro 300 is the follow-on model of Pro 10. The naming is a little bit confusing, doesn't it? But don't worry, we're gonna make it clear in this video. The first thing you need to keep in mind is if you are looking for a photo printer and a Canon brand, then there are five models for you. The Pro 100, Pro 200, Pro 10, Pro 300, and the Pro 1000. If you are a pro level photographer or you want to be one, you definitely want your printer to have the best printing quality and capable to print at least A2 size photos. At this point, you should just buy the Pro 1000. No BS, just buy it, you won't go wrong with it. And otherwise, you want to print very long panoramas, choose the new models. And if you are an amateur or the A3 plus size is enough for you, then you can just pick one from Pro 10 or Pro 100 if you can find one at cheap. According to a lot of reviews, the Pro 100 is already a very good photo printer. If many photographers say it can provide gallery level print, I tend to believe them. The Pro 10 has two more ink cartridges than the 8 color Pro 100. One of these two extra inks is some special coating material called the Chroma Optimizer. I quote from Canon, The Chroma Optimizer brings uniform ink height over the printed image and regulates surface reflection. This maintains the natural color and integrity of your printed photos. It might help to get a better print quality, but I tend to believe they just want to sell more ink cartridges. And the printing speed of Pro 10 is even slower than the cheaper 8 color Pro 100. Then we got the new generation, the Pro 200 and Pro 300. They're smaller, they're faster, and they are a little bit smarter. They support more paper sizes. For example, you can print 39 inch long panorama on them. Most importantly, the color from them are more vibrant than the previous models, according to Canon. Well, they made new inks, new cartridges for the new models. And guess what? They're not interchangeable between the previous models. 
surprise. The Pro 200 is an 8 color printer and the Pro 300 has 9 colors plus 1 chroma optimizer just like the Pro 10. Another thing you need to know is the Pro 10 and the Pro 300 using pigment inks and the Pro 100 and Pro 200 use dye inks. They're quite different inks, but the result from them is extremely close. The last thing you need to keep in mind is the ink card. They're expensive. But with the previous models, you can easily find some third-party inks at very cheap. But for the new models, you can't even buy the original ones. Oh, Canon. Okay, we went through all these models. We didn't dig very deep. I encourage you to do your own research, but my opinion is very clear. Pro-level photographers just buy the Pro 1000. Panorama lovers buy the Pro 200. Otherwise, just find the Pro 100. Don't be stupid like me to buy the Pro 300. It's expensive and it doesn't worth the money. Yeah, it's just my opinion. Okay, I hope this view has been useful for you to make your choice. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. I will see you in the next time. Bye.